In this video, we will look at some of the ways of how to enhance a picture for a pet portrait and how to add details and more contrast to it. So let's get to it! After uploading the picture, we will start with the selection tool. I usually like to remove all the very unnecessary parts, so I'm left usually with this. And if you choose the automatic option, you can just slide your pencil to the left or to the right to reduce or increase the selection amount. There is a new and better way to do this, actually. Just go into your Photos app, select the subject you would want to cut out, and with your other hand, uh, open Procreate and just drop it in there. It will create a new layer and cut it out even better than the selection tool would. Now, by using the freehand option, I'm gonna just cut out the unnecessary parts again. And then I will use an airbrush to just clean it up a little bit more. And when we are done with that, we can start to look at the edges. As you see, they they look a little bit rough from the from cutting out. It will never be completely perfect. To make it look a lot better, I'm gonna use a smudge tool and one of my brushes, long fur. So now with this brush, you will want to pull the unnecessary parts in a little bit and then pull the color out a little bit. Just see how nicely it, it just looks like real hair. To make this video a little bit shorter, I will speed up some parts. I will leave a link um, to these brushes in the video description below. Just be careful and try not to overdo it. Use a smaller brush size if you can. And here on the top of uh, my dog's head, the hair will be a lot shorter. It's not gonna be as fluffy as on the ears. So I will use shorter, um, much lighter brush strokes. On the other side, you can see that there's a little piece of the ear that's missing and we can easily fix it with the same brush. Just um, carefully pull out the color and try to recreate <laughs> uh, the tip of the ear. If the photo is a little bit unclear or blurry, you can use the sharpen option. Again, just don't overdo it, otherwise it's not gonna look too good. Another way how to liven up the photo a little bit would be to paint over it. So just uh, pick a color and make a new layer and take a lighter shade of that color. And just do a couple of brush strokes where you feel like they would belong. Here I'm doing that to add some highlights and you can also do that with darker shades to add more shadow that will create more depth to your photo. It looks like the eyes could use a little bit of a touch-up. So what I would do is take a base color from somewhere in the eye and this will allow me to find a brighter color for the eye that I could use to lighten it up a little bit. So you just choose a color that's a little bit brighter than the one you picked. And after that, we can pick a brush. For the eyes, I've always used this one, Twisted Tree. Just tap a few times, don't 
overdo it, don't put too much color, otherwise, well, it just, again, not gonna look too good. One more thing we could do is to add a little bit of a reflection in the eyes. So I'm gonna use an airbrush. And this one is really cool because if you press it down a little bit harder, then you get more solid color. But if you press lightly, then it will blend the color in. We already sharpened up the photo, but if you use the selection tool, you can sharpen up just certain places in the photo if you need to. And I kind of felt like the nose could be a little bit sharper because it seems like out of focus. There's a little bit of snow on Cooper's nose. So I'm gonna use the clone tool to get rid of it. So how this works is that the circled part will be copied onto the part that you want to delete. It's a very useful tool to remove all kinds of small imperfections. And here I'm just gonna use my whiskers brush to quickly make the whiskers pop out a little bit more increase the stabilization for smoother lines. I tried to make this video as short as possible for your convenience, so let's just speed it up to the finished piece. So, voila, here it is. So, I already finished the background and I didn't film it. Um, it's on purpose, leave a comment if you want a separate video on that. And look how smooth all the fur is. It's just seamless. It's, it's, it's perfect. So I hope this video helped you. And leave a like and a comment. What do you think?